Welcome to video number four, creating relationship for um, the POS system that we are creating for a grocery shop. Uh, this is the video number four. If you haven't watched the first three videos, I would strongly recommend you to watch those as well. So you get an idea what exactly we're building. It's a complete video series and we are going to build a POS system in Microsoft Access. So if you're interested, I would strongly recommend you to watch those videos as well. So what we did in first three videos, we created these tables. So 11 tables were created. The next part is to actually create a relationship. That's why it's called a relational database. So we have to create a relationship between these tables. Now, before I go ahead and do that, I would like to explain a little bit about the relationships. Now relationships are important. Every table has a foreign key and primary key, right? Or I should say rather every table has a primary key and foreign key. Now we have to link the primary key with the foreign key and foreign key uh, is considered, for example, um, if I would have to give you an example, I would go to the orders table. Now here we have order number in orders table, right? and if i will go to invoices here also we will see we have a field called order number now in orders table the order number is considered as primary key in invoices table the order number field is considered as a foreign key and these two tables will be linked with this particular field order number in invoices table and order number in orders table so primary key and foreign key both will be linked now there are three types of relationships and those three types are um, uh, let me let me write it for you so those three types are actually oops oops no I don't want those three types are actually one to one relationship, one to many relationships and many to many relationships. And they all have different purposes and they all are used in different uh, form. Uh, so one to one relationship. Right. Then we have a one to many relationship then we have many to many relationships so three types of relationships that are created generally in microsoft access the most of the time we create one to many relationship and uh, that we are going to demonstrate for example for example that that uh, for for one employee for one employee if i go to the employees table you have employee id if i go to the orders table you also have uh, the reference to employee id so one employee can have many orders created right or one order can have many invoices created that also is possible so most of the time the type of relationship is used is called one to many relationship that's the type of relationship most of the time is created i haven't used ever if i'm not mistaken one to one relationship or i have rarely used many to many relationship i always use one to many and this is 97 percent of the time one to many relationships are created right so that's a little background of creating the relationship now let's go ahead and create a relationship for this particular database see that's why i did not include this in the previous video otherwise it would have been long video so to create a relationship uh, go to the database tools tab and then click on relationships so we get this um, the playground sort of thing uh, where we can create a relationship here and on the side we have the tables all the tables that are existed in this particular database or in this particular access application 
now this is 2016 2019 this is how you get the tables but sometimes uh, you will get this blank screen so if you have older version uh, or even new version like this you just right click anywhere and then you say show tables and in 2016 i believe and 2019 as well uh, this is how the tables will appear but in older version of max of access it will appear as a pop-up irrespective the way they are appearing they, we need the tables that's it so let's go ahead and uh, add all the tables right this is going to be messy right so i'm going i want you to pay attention here because this is going to be really messy and these are only 11 tables so not really messy but it is going to be messy sometimes you have big applications um, that that has so many tables that you get confused which table to uh, connect with which table and i'm going to show you the best practices that i use so i do not miss any relationship that's supposed to be created okay that too i'll show you so i'm just setting the tables around so i don't skip anything it's very important to do that okay just bear with me i know you might be getting bored right now but this is important stuff we gotta do this so what is the best practice what do i do well i start from the left side and i go from every table and then i look for the possible relationship that needs to be created so for example if i will come here do i have any foreign key in this table no right now no there's nothing foreign key so i don't touch this right let's go here do i have any foreign key here let's see and yes employee id is the foreign key so let's link this with the employees table and employee id that's employee table and employees table and employee id now watch what happens so you click you select the employee id or the required field then press the left uh, button on your mouse keep it pressed and drag and drop okay drag and drop on employee id the moment you release your button of the mouse then you get this pop-up notification it tells you which two tables you are connecting so you're connecting employees with the orders table that's correct and which two fields you are connecting so you're connecting employee id with employee id that is correct now if you will pay attention here there are three options here enforce referential integrity that's the first option so uh, we have to check that now the benefit of doing that is for example you cannot create order for the employee that does not exist in the employees table right that's what this enforce referential integrity will do so you i will repeat you cannot create order with the employee that does not exist in this particular employees table and this is where enforce referential integrity will come in play all right the moment i click that the other two are activated so i'm i'm focused on this as well cascade update related fields i'm not focused on this because we don't want to delete any record which means if i click here what will happen so if for some reason the employee information is deleted all the record right all the records in the orders table will get deleted as well related to that employee so i don't want to do that i want to create the orders record i think that's what it means i believe so if i am incorrect please do let me know in the comments below so i'll uncheck that now if you'll go down further you will see relationship type and it is yes one to many relationship 
okay that's what i was saying most of the time you will have one to many relationship created not one to one not many to many most of the time one to one one to many relationship will be created so let's go ahead and hit create so i've explained what it means now i will move on very quickly to create a relationship all right so click on create there you go and relationship it is created now you will see that here it is one it is written and here it is some squiggly right this infinity sign that means one employee can create as many orders as possible that's what it means one to many relationship All right let's go ahead and do the the next relationship if there is any uh, foreign key in this table i don't think so this so there is no other foreign key only one foreign key employee id that is it now let's move on to the payroll is there any foreign key in this table uh no no foreign key at all now let's move on to employees table is there any foreign key in this table employee name father name cnc mobile home number designation basic salary allowance salary user id password no there is no foreign key in this table as well do I have do we have foreign key in supplier table you bet i will find one or two supplier id country credits bank day bank key bank name ibn license credit but nothing no foreign key sorry for that expense table is there any foreign key in here so expense for no this is look a wizard um supplier yes this is the foreign key so we are going to connect this or create a relationship with the supplier then expense type it's a look of wizard reference doc balance paid on status okay products uh, product id product category um supplier so let's connect this with this table as well one to many purchase price rsp tax rate tax total location picture created by credit on all right that is done invoices we have order number here as well so let's where is order table where is order table there we go so order number connects with the order number here order total discount net rsp amount collected balance status status state verified by verified on paid by mobile all right that is also done payroll id will get connected with payroll id here all right employee id will get connected with employee id here in employees table see i told you it's going to be messy a little bit not too much but a little bit i have done applications where everything is messy there's a lot of relationship created all the way any other foreign key nope Let's look at here order number here as well. Where is order table? I always forget the order table. Here it is. Product ID. Where is product table? Here we go. What else? Nothing. Purchase table. so category id will be linked with category id product id will be linked with product id quantity um total price store location inventory status that is it so i think we have connected all the tables with each other where it's supposed to get connected if in case i forgot anything we'll see um later down the line okay all right so this is how you create a relationship in microsoft access three types of relationships one to one one to many many to many 99% of the time one to many is used in fact in this application we have used one to many relationship 100% of the time and um 
this is how the foreign keys and primary keys plays very important role in connecting two different tables so you can create a relational database um, so this is about it and uh, in next video when we come for the next video we will create forms okay and uh, we'll try to build our front end uh, this was the back end so tables we have created relationships we have created our back end is almost done in next video we are going to start with the forms so we'll create different forms like login form dashboard we'll create forms for category for orders for payrolls for employees supplies basically every single table will have a form to do data entry as a user interface so that's the next part part number five so stay tuned for that and uh, thank you very much for watching till now uh, to support please subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever i upload these kind of videos and um, if uh, you haven't um, subscribed yet i will tell you again ask you again please subscribe to the channel and like the video if you have liked this tutorial thank you very much for watching see you in the next video till then take care bye bye